Think about this. Yeah. If you are a black child born in America today, there's a 72% chance that your parents are not married. Right. And, and an equal chance that your father will not be in the home. And, and, and no matter what race you are, there's a, about a 50% chance that your parents won't be together by the time you graduate from high school. So men, the message to men is, especially, think about this. If, if you're a white man, you are automatically a racist. Right. Right. That's and, right. And you automatically have white privilege if you're a white man. That's right. So now you're starting to see, even, even among uh, white men at a, at a higher socioeconomic uh, status, you're, you're seeing white men that are so confused over what they are. And, and that is because of the message that they're getting from our society. The number one, Jim, you're a racist because you're white. Number two, you have white privilege. So mm -hmm. you get by with things that nobody else does. And that's the, they're being bombarded with this message. Look, what we need to go back to is a biblical standard for a man. Yes. What's a man? I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you my next book right now. I hadn't even written it yet, but I just talked <laughs> to the publisher two days ago. Good. A man is a protector. Yes. Okay, you protect your family. And it's not only, it's not only that you protect them from harm, uh, from physical harm, but you protect your family from uh, doing things that, are, that you may have done mm -hmm. that were harmful. Right. You protect them from harm. Yes. You, uh, number two, you're the provider. Yes. You provide for your family. You provide for their, not only their financial needs, but you provide them direction and guidance. Yes. You provide them identity. And see, that's what you're talking about. Being affirmed by a man yeah. gave you an identity right. beyond the gangs that were pulling you in both directions. That's right. So you're the provider. Number three, you're the pal. You see, you need a man in your life that you can be intimate with, not in a sexual context, but a man that you can share your most in intimate fears mm -hmm. and concerns and, and apprehensions and joys. But you need a battle buddy. The military calls it a battle buddy. In the army, you got a battle buddy. Mm -hmm. and that battle buddy's never going to leave you. He's going to be right there with you. And, mm -hmm. and I've seen men die because they wouldn't leave their battle buddy. And I've, I've put two of them in for the Medal of Honor, and they got it. You've got to be a pal. Mm -hmm. The third thing is you're the professor. You know what Billy Graham said? You need to walk around with a Bible under one arm and a, and a uh, newspaper under the other. And that's because we need to be aware of what's happening in our country. These people that say, I don't even watch the news anymore because it's so depressing. Wrong. Wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Wrong answer. Go to alternate sources. You don't have to watch CNN and Fox. Right. But go to alternate sources. But you've got to know what's going on because if you're the man of the family, yeah. no, you may be the father or the grandfather mm -hmm. or the great-grandfather, but you've got to be the source of information about what's happening right. in this world we live in because an adolescent cannot figure it out. They can't figure out what's going on in the world today because it's become so bizarre. Yeah. And then finally, you're the priest. Wow. You're the priest of the family. And you, you're the spiritual head. Now, my wife makes all the decisions. I come home someday and I'm not sure I'm in the right house. <laughs> Because the furniture's all gone, or it's, a, it's, it's all, I, all I don't, the little decisions we make. I, I don't have, I don't know whether I make any money or not. I, I don't, I don't ever see it, but, <laughs> and that's not, it's just because that's, her, that she does all of those things, right. but I'm still the spiritual head that's of right. my house. Amen. And I set the direction when, that's so good. amen. You know, 